How's it going everybody? My name's Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Today we're in Alaska at our vertical log cabin and I'm going to install a couple windows in these window holes that don't have a window. I've been making videos of this cabin project for six years and one of the questions I get asked a lot is how to install a window in a log wall. Now log is very abstract so I'm going to walk you guys through the process. First thing I do is I take all the measurements of the window opening, what's actually there. Logs dry, they twist, they move. So unlike a framed house where you should know exactly what the measurements of an opening are, in a log house you have to cut every single piece individually. Not a problem, just a little extra time. I'm going to grab myself a dry one by board and get started. And from that, I'm going to cut the trim pieces that are going to sandwich the window in place in the hole. Now here's my measurements. I've got every measurement for every stick I need to cut. Now we're going to install a vinyl window. And let's just imagine, for conversation's sake, that it's three inches wide. What we're going to need to do is build a frame. That frame is going to sit on the outside of the window opening hole. And then we're going to put the window in up against that frame. Then we're going to build a frame for the inside of the window opening hole. And neither one of those frames should stick out too far that they look weird. Those are our only parameters. I like to do just one window at a time because each one of these cuts is going to be a little different in length. It's best not to do too many at one time and get them mixed up. I'll cut each individual piece until my cut list is complete. Then it's time to head inside and start tacking it all together. Very simple operation. Now I started building this cabin back in 2016 and I just chip away at it a little at a time while I'm here in Alaska. Well, this would be the fourth log cabin I've built. And one thing that you have to come to terms with when you're building with log is that everything is just kind of abstract. Even if you did perfect log work, by the time the logs have settled and dried out and had sun and wind and weather on them, everything is going to be just a little different than it was when you put it together. You just have to roll with it. Now I'll set the window in place. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and set a couple nails, one on each side. And all they're going to do is they're going to hold the window in place so it doesn't fall out while I check all the gaps. I want the gaps to be as even as possible on every side of the window. I'm going to take and put a couple little shims underneath the window so that the gap under the window is about the same as the gap above the window and to the left and right. Now that the gaps are about the same on every side of the window, we're going to start insulating that gap. And for that, we're just going to use fiberglass insulation because it's what I have handy. You could also use spray foam, but the foam might push the window frame in just a fuzz, especially if you're using a cheap, lightweight window like I am. Now like every job under the sun, there's a right way to do it and there's a wrong way to do it. And then in between, there's a thousand variations of better and worse. The way you want to install a window might be completely different than this and you might use different materials, a different process, etc, etc. But at the end of the day, what we want is we want a window in the hole, we want the window to be solid, we want the window to be functional, we want a dead air space around the window. We want the window to not leak from the outside and we want the window not to fall out of the hole. That's about it. Nowadays the world is full of experts and one of the things that keeps people from doing their own work at their own home is fear that they'll do the job wrong. When it comes to installing a window there's really only a few ways that you can do it wrong. You can get the window bound up and crooked so it doesn't open and close. You can fail to insulate around the window so the air blows through the gap. You can fail to caulk the outside of the window so water seeps down in your wall. But if you get all of those things right, 
which is fairly simple to do. And you've done a good job. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name is Dave Whipple, and you've been watching Bush Radical. And be radical, eh? See you soon. <laughs>